In the ALMI project, funded by the Assuring Autonomy International Program, the University of York and PAL Robotics, the focus is to develop adaptation methods for Tiago Robot to be able to handle the uncertainty and disruptions encountered in a home environment. In this solution, the Tiago Robot helps a user with mild motor and cognitive impairments by using both speech interaction and its object manipulation capabilities. This video shows an example of helping during the preparation of a meal and reacting to emergency situations. To achieve this, we created a simulation of the environment by using the Gazebo Simulator. A graph depicting the environment is generated. Nodes represent the locations which the robot can access. The color of the edges represent the probability of successfully moving from one location to another. It takes into account the number of connections to other nodes and the probability of the path being obstructed by furniture. The framework uses this information to identify the path with the highest probability of success. This is the adaptation of the graph in the presence of a person. We assume that the human moves following the shortest path from one location to another. The framework considers the human path for the planning of the robot's mission, and adjusts the robot path to avoid collision. We use human recognition with NVIDIA Jetson NX, an external board to launch AI programs providing more processing power. Hello Dahlia. Would you like to cook pasta? Yes, please. Okay, I will fetch the pasta then. To start cooking you need to boil some water. Okay, thanks. We use acapella onboard speech synthesis for generating speech within the Tiago robot. PAL Robotics has developed a memory map that University of York has integrated within the code to initialize, update and get the location of the items. The Advanced Grasping Package is a grasping pipeline for Tiago. The goal of this pipeline is to enable Tiago to grasp different objects in various environments. In a modular and adaptable way, this is achieved by combining advanced robotic vision, behavior trees, and the motion planning framework MoveIt. They allow the pipeline to be both modular and robust. These are the key elements of this grasping pipeline. The entire pipeline is divided into smaller subtasks, such as object detection and table detection. These are easily interchangeable according to the requirements of the assigned use case. The digital twin of the Tiago robot can be visualized in simultaneous to the execution of the task. Using OctoMap, Tiago maps the environment in order to avoid collision during planning. In this visualization, the detected objects are shown in green. When Tiago grasps an object, the object changes to purple, to indicate that the object has been successfully grasped. This is based on feedback of the end effector of the robot. Hello Tiago, thank you. 
What do I need to do? Here is the pasta. Please put it in the boiling water and wait for six minutes. Okay, thank you. Pasta is ready. I will go to pick the tomato sauce. The advanced grasping package also allows Tiago to place the object on any desired surface. What should I do with this? Here is the tomato sauce. Please add it to the pasta. Okay, I will do. Thank you. Bon appetit. Tiago's mission is to roam the kitchen looking for any emergency situations. The OpenDR Toolkit is a set of deep learning software functions and packages to help develop and test robotic applications. Thanks to the OpenDR Toolkit, Tiago is able to detect a person that has fallen. Tiago, help. Call someone, please. We'll use Twilio to make an emergency call to the designated contact person. I am Tiago. When a person is detected on the floor, Tiago will look for help. If Tiago encounters a person, he will explain the issue and ask the human to assist. Someone needs help in the kitchen. Okay, thank you, Tiago. I go ahead. The results from the Almi project contribute to a better understanding of the user's need and the system requirements for developing a robot that supports older adults with cognitive impairment.